for President Trump's extraordinary refusal to cooperate in any way with the impeachment investigation. A new poll from Fox News shows 51% of Americans support removing Trump from office. Former Vice President Joe Biden has now come out in support of conviction for the first time, and the president and his allies are firing back at Biden and the whistleblower. Cecilia Vega tracking it all from the White House. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. The president is firing back, and this morning, so is that whistleblower, as you said, in the face of those relentless attacks from President Trump and his allies. The whistleblower's lawyers, until now, had been reluctant to release any information about their client's identity. Not anymore. This morning, lawyers for the whistleblower say the anonymous government employee has spent an entire career working nonpartisan jobs in the executive branch. And they say, quote, our client has never worked for or advised a political candidate, campaign or party. The whistleblower only coming into contact with presidential candidates in their roles as elected officials, candidates from both parties. This is a con job. The forceful defense comes after President Trump launched a smear campaign claiming the whistleblower worked for one of his Democratic rivals. Then it turns out that the whistleblower is a Democrat, strong Democrat, and is working with one of my opponents as a Democrat that I might end up running against. The whole thing is a scam. The whistleblower's lawyer saying the whistleblower is not the story. To date, virtually every substantive allegation has been confirmed by other sources. For that reason, the identity of the whistleblower is irrelevant. One of those rivals, former Vice President Joe Biden, for the first time said the president should be impeached. To preserve our Constitution, our democracy, our basic integrity, he should be impeached. President Trump firing right back. Biden is dropping like a rock. I don't, I don't think he's going to make it. Well, the White House is now in full force gearing up for this impeachment battle. They have brought on former Congressman Trey Gowdy to the president's outside legal team. You will remember that he led the Republican investigation into Benghazi. He is joining, of course, a team that is refusing to cooperate with Congress's investigation into this impeachment. The irony here, George, during Benghazi, Gowdy was adamant that Obama, the Obama administration, had no choice but to cooperate with Congress. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.